Hey, hello gamers, this is Jack here. Got another Guild Wars 2 video for you. This one is going to be the Guardian overview, talking about the Guardian skills and abilities, and then how I found the Guardian to play uh, mostly in PvP during this beta. So if I had to equate the Guardian to any other class, like in WoW, I would say it's a Paladin. Um, and they have a lot of defensive abilities, a lot of self-heal, a lot of group heal and group buff abilities, um, and yeah, basically a Pally. So let me show you first the abilities of a Mace with a shield. Your primary attack is just a normal attack. And the symbol of faith, what this does is it drops a little AoE on the ground that uh, heals any heals yourself and any allies standing inside, gives you health regen and quite a bit of health regen. Um, this what this does is protects your strike, and then uh, uh, allies that are standing within that circle will get protection and they'll get reduced uh, incoming damage. And if you're struck, then you uh, kind of retaliate and do a damage attack with that. Shield of Judgment creates a shield in front of you which uh, damages enemies and then gives you and your allies protection, again reducing incoming damage. And then Shield of Absorption which uh, creates a big bubble around yourself, it pushes enemies back and then also absorbs incoming projectile damage and that's good to use uh, with your heals. It can push enemies back, give you that time to pop a heal or drop a symbol of faith or anything like that. Now I'll show you the skills of a staff and what the staff does is it gives you a lot of uh, support and healing abilities. So this wave of light just uh, sends out a shockwave, AoE shockwave. It uh, hits just, yeah, enemies and AoE. Orb of light, it'll uh, just a damaging attack and if you go to an ally, it'll also heal an ally. So either heals or damages. And then symbol of swiftness, uh, what does that do? Okay, so it gives a little thing and any allies that pass over it will uh, gain swiftness. Increases the movement speed. And then empower, so another buff to enemies or to allies around us. And it uh, heals and it gives might to allies around us. Increasing outgoing damage. Six stacks of might, that's quite a bit. And then line of warding. What that does create a line that uh, enemies can't cross. So this is basically a solid barrier to enemies. I imagine that'll be really good in group PvP. Now let me show you the skills that come with a great sword and a hammer. These are more of your offensive skills, and these can be a lot of fun uh, in PvP. So just uh, normal attack. This is with the great sword. Pierce. What is this called? Symbol of wrath. So places places this symbol on the ground and then uh, does damage and it grants you retaliation and what retaliation does is it reflects incoming damage back to a source. Whirling Wrath. So just uh, like a spinning AoE attack. Leap of Faith. Close in with the enemy and attack him and also blinds them. And then bl Binding Blade. It's uh, AoE attack DPS. Now you hit that again and it pulls them in. So this could be really good for uh, gathering up large groups of enemies if you have uh, uh, you know, teammates with you that can drop uh, AoE on top of them after you pull them in. And now here is the Great Hammer, so just a uh, normal DPS attack and Mighty Blow. Just uh, Point Blake AoE and then Zealot's Embrace. So it sends a wave out and then immobilizes foes. Banish. This will just uh, knock foes up and away. Wow, that really knocks them far. And then a ring of warding. So it creates a ring um, that foes cannot cross. So you can either use this to trap enemies inside or to uh, give yourself a little breathing space to do uh, heals or anything else like that. And then Guardians have these uh, alt abilities, um, F1, F2, F3, and these are kind of like your signets. Um, passively, they give you an effect, like this one gives you burning damage, uh, Virtue of Resolve gives you health regen, and then gives you an Aegis. Aegis, uh, what that does is it absorbs, uh, blocks the next attack, but if you hit them, you gain a larger effect. 
um, but then they go on cooldown and you'll lose their effects for a little bit. See now I gained all of those effects, but now I've lost the passive and now they're going to be gone until they recharge. So Guardians have a lot of really good uh, healing utilities. Um, this one is great because when you use it you're also blocking attacks. This is called Shelter. So when you're using it you're basically invulnerable. Um, and then your utility skills, you have a lot of different signets that give you uh, buffs and then give group buffs and you have a lot of uh, yeah group buff things kind of a lot of things to remove debuffs from yourself and from uh, your allies and then you also have these uh, kind of spirit weapons which are kind of cool uh, that I'll show you but here are some of the group uh, buffs first stand your ground gives yourself stability retaliation um, a lot of different buffs hold a line protection and regeneration to allies uh, signet of judgment gives retaliation to allies and weakens enemies and then uh, here are your elite skills tome of wrath summons an ancient tome which grants you powerful offensive spells uh, this again changes your whole uh, weapon skill set renewed focus makes yourself invulnerable and recharges your virtues um, so that can be really powerful especially when you're getting ganked by a bunch of people and then Tome of Courage, kind of like Tome of Wrath, but uh, this is for defensive spells. So let me show you these uh, different weapons first. Hammer of Wisdom, Sword of Justice, Bow of Truth. So you can be a tanky.